out of the way to meet the Lord. Judgment is coming. Jesus is coming. Hey, God. And so this coronavirus that we're dealing with right now, people believe this coronavirus will just pass away and be a figment of the imagination. It will not. It will get worse. The Bible says there will be pestilence in the sin. There will be earthquakes, famines, wars, rumors of wars. It's going to be a lot worse. Are you hearing what I'm preaching? It's going to be much worse. God is trying to wake you up so you can come to Jesus Christ and repent of your sins and get right with God because judgment is here. But it's going to get a lot greater. Judgment is going to get a lot greater. And God is warning you to turn from your pornography, turn from your lies, turn from your homosexuality, turn from your transgenderism, turn from your adultery, turn from your masturbation, turn from your child pornography. Netflix now does this new film called Cuties. It's not cute. It's an abomination. How many of these young girls and men look like prostitutes on the Netflix? It's an abomination. It's a pedophile's dream. It's wickedness. The government having young girls dressed like that and they think many people think it's good. No, it's an abomination. And now they're trying to say that pedophilia is now going to become, amen, some kind of a sexual orientation. What a lie. What a wickedness. These precious people, both the, both the victim and the victimizer needs to be, the victim by them needs to be delivered. The poor victim, if they're not saved, the thunder of the age of accountability that he wouldn't use to say, no matter who we are. But I'll tell you one thing, the victimizer will have to answer to God, and it's not going to be a fun time, I can tell you that. Judgment will come to him if it doesn't repent of his sins. And God is saying for you right now, God bless you. God is saying for you right now to repent and believe the gospel. Time is running out. Time is running out. So now the Bible says there's two ways to go on. The world that needs to heaven and the world that needs to hell. The majority of people, you can get to hell any way you want. You can get there any way you want, but the way to heaven is only through Jesus Christ. And so many people believe now that they're going to go to heaven when they die. Not going to happen that way, according to the Bible. You've got to come the way of the cross. You've got to come the way of the cross. Amen. You've got to turn from your sin and come right with God. And don't believe that, amen, that you can go ahead and be gay and go to heaven. It's a lie. You've got to repent of your sin. Go ahead and commit abortion. Or go ahead and commit fornication. Go ahead and lie and steal. And still get to heaven. It's not going to happen out here for into the Bible. The Bible says you must be born again. The Bible says you must be born again. And except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So Jesus says now, the way to heaven is straight and narrow. He said that few would be able to find it. Few will be able to find the way to heaven. Why? Because few actually want to repent of their sin. Most people want to do their own thing. Live a lot their own way. And believe they're going to go to heaven when they die. It won't happen that way. The way to heaven is only through Jesus Christ. It is not through me. It is not through my church. It's not through religion. It's only through the Savior, the Son of God that died and shed his blood on the cross for your sins. Only through Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Bible says he is the only way to heaven. The only escape from hell. And the only way to get there is that you've got to repent of your sin. Now what is sin? Most people don't understand what sin is. Sin is breaking God's law. Lying is sin. Stealing is sin. Pornography is sin. Homosexuality is sin. Adultery is sin. Fornication is sin. Transgenderism is sin. All of those things are sin. Satanism is sin. Atheism is sin. All that mess is sin. Worshiping other gods are sin. We sin to God. Because he says he's the only one and true God. Oh, well, I don't believe that. You can believe what you want. But if you don't believe what the Bible says, the Bible says you're believing in a false gospel. A thing that does not, that does not give you true hope, but you think it does. There's only one good news, and that's the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ. 
and today is the day of salvation. Why? Because tomorrow could be too late. You don't know when you're going to die. If you die right now, if this is the last moment of your life, would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? If this is the last moment of your life, would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? Ask yourself that question. If you're on that wide gate that leads to destruction, and you're doing whatever you want to do, and you just think that God will come along with you for the ride, you're deceived. That's the wide gate that leads to destruction. You may even call yourself a Christian, but yet you're still lying, you're still fornicating, you're still doing what you want, you're still cursing and swearing, you're still drinking and smoking, you're still doing them drugs and the marijuana, I mean, all that mess, and you say, well, I'm a Christian, the Bible says, no, the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, be not deceived. Don't think that you can do those things and still pass through the point of gates when the Bible says, no. Why does God say that? He said that because he loves you. He cares about you. He doesn't want to see you die and go to hell. That's why God says these things in the Bible. He's not willing that any should perish, but all come to repentance. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow could be too late. That's why you better get on your knees before God and say, Lord, forgive me of all my sin and my transgressions that you could be saved. The winds of change are here. The winds of change are here. Jesus is about to come. Hallelujah, the God is about to be changed. I'm here to warn you. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Turn from your sin today and trust Jesus Christ today for your salvation. Tomorrow could be too late. You need to escape the regions of hell and be given everlasting life. What is hell like? The Bible describes hell as a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth. Where the worms will never die and the fire will never be quenched. He's all that's fairy tales. Really? You really believe that? <laughs> What about the evidence in the Bible? The Bible has proven itself to be true by history, archaeology, Bible prophecy, and the eyewitness accounts of Jesus Christ's death, his burial, and his resurrection. The Bible has proven itself to be true. Years ago, people thought that they, people thought that Hallelujah, I can still preach. God will judge you for that. But I'll pray for you, man. God will pray for you. Hallelujah, I'll pray for you. You can't stop the gospel, man. I'm still preaching. Hallelujah. God loves you. And I'm praying for you that you'll come to Christ and repent of your sin and receive him like that. God sees that too. Hallelujah, but I'm praying for you. God sees that too. Every out of word the man speaks will he give account of the day of judgment. And God will judge him by his words. But I pray that you'll receive God's grace and his love and his mercy and his salvation. You can keep putting up that finger. But God, amen, is reaching out his hand of salvation to you that you can be saved from hell. You think it's a judgment? The Bible says there is a place where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth and where the worm will never die and the fire will never be quenched. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, yes. And you think that you can stop the preaching of the gospel when you try to disconnect it? No, sir. I can preach right here. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Today is a day of salvation for me. Judgment is coming. Oh yes, judgment is coming, Halifax. Judgment is coming to the city. God's wrath is coming to the city. God's wrath is coming to Nova Scotia. God's wrath is coming to Canada. God's wrath is coming to the United States of America. God's wrath is coming to the United Kingdom. God's wrath is coming to all the nations of this world. And he's telling you that today is a day to repent of sin and come to Jesus Christ before it's too late. When the nation says that two men and two women can get married, you think that's right before God? God calls it sin. It's an abomination. When a nation says it's okay to abort human babies, and it's okay, it's a woman's body, it's a lie, it's not a woman's body, it's a baby's body inside of a woman, and she has no right to kill that child inside of that body. It's called first degree murder. It's called first degree murder and abortion. If your mother killed you, would you be alive? Of course not. It's not murder. Oh, it's a woman's right to choose. What a lie from the pit of hell. It's no woman's right to choose. Since when was a murder a choice? 
Since when was murder a choice? Huh? Hallelujah! Oh, I'm gonna call the police. Call the police. Call who you like. I'll still be here. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, yes. I'm here because I love you and I want you to hear the gospel of Christ to be saved by the grace of God. Oh, we'll lock up them preachers, lock us all up. Then God will raise up a five-year-old child to come here and preach his word. You can't stop this gospel. They try to stop the apostles and lock them in jail. And what did they do? They kept preaching the word of God even after they locked up Paul in jail. And God told them to go preach all the words of this life. Oh, yes, you can't stop this thing. It has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with God and his love. Tear the places forever. And you'll never be able to get out of here once again. You'll never be to be able to escape out of here. And that's why you need to know the Christ today and receive his word and receive his salvation and receive his grace and receive his mercy. That's what the Lord wants. It is, the Bible says he's not willing that any should perish, but all come to the presence. He wants everyone to come to him and be saved and be right with him before it's too late. Because judgment is coming. So finally, as I close, the Bible says there's two roads that travel on one that leads to heaven, one that leads to hell. Which one are you on? Because if you're on the road whereby you believe in your own philosophy, that's the road that leads to hell. If you're on the road that believes you can fill the lust of your flesh and commit all abomination and sin, gamble, steal, lie, commit adultery, commit fornication, commit homosexuality, commit transgenderism, stealing, curse, Watch pornography, watch all the mess on Netflix and all that garbage from the pit of hell. If you believe that's okay, then you're on the wide gate that leads to hell and Satan does not want you, does not want you to hear this truth. He wants you to die in your sin. Yes, turn up the window, but it's not going to help you in the day of judgment. When you stand before God and give it a God, I'm telling you the truth because I love you. I don't want to see you go to hell. And so you need to go on the straight gate that leads to heaven is through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. That you can be saved by God's grace and be forgiven of your sin and be ready to go to heaven and not go to hell. That's the good news of salvation. Today is that wonderful day of salvation. Tomorrow could be too late, my dear friend. You don't know when the last day of your life is. And that's why the Lord says today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to make a right with God. You can have your sins forgiven. If you want to know the Lord Jesus Christ today and repent of your sin and be saved by his grace, he will save you. He will deliver you. And he'll give you everlasting life. You can know the Lord today. You can be ready to go on that straight and narrow gate. That straight gate and narrow way that leads to life. The reason my few will be the fine is because few want to actually repent of sin. Few want to actually turn away from their sin. The majority today want to continue to do their sin. And they don't care about what God says. They don't care what the Bible says. What the Bible calls says that you can be saved from your homosexuality. You can be saved from your transgenderism. I was talking to a man just a few minutes ago. He, I said, thank you, sir. I gave him a gospel check. And he was a man, dressed like a woman. Oh yeah, keep going, go talk to the police, go right ahead. And he, and, he, and he was a man dressed like a woman. And I gave him the gospel, and he thanked me. A man, and there was not nothing but hate preach. No, we don't, we don't hate anybody. We are the true lovers of the homosexual community, the preachers of the gospel. We're the true carers of the LGBTQ community. Because we're telling them the truth. The government doesn't love them. The government doesn't love them. The government hates the guts and wants them to see them go to hell. Are you hearing what I'm saying right now? They don't care about nobody but themselves, the government. The preacher of the gospel cares about the homosexuals, the adulterers, the fornicators, the liars, the murderers, amen, the pedophiles, whoever it may be, amen, the stealers, amen, the self-righteous, whoever you are, Christ cares about you, and he wants you to be saved from your sin and repent for the kingdom of God in your hand.
We're walking on the wide place that leads to hell. Amen? It does not lead to heaven. It leads to eternal damnation. Turn away from your homosexuality. Turn away from your transgenderism. Turn away from your fornication. Turn away, amen, from your lying, your stealing. Turn away from all your sin and receive Jesus Christ. Amen. God loves you. God loves the homosexual. He doesn't want them to go to hell. That's why Christ died. So we can be saved from hell and we can have an everlasting life. God wanted me to be saved. I'm no better than anybody else. Christ saved me. But when the government says that's sin, it's sin. You can go ahead and clap now, but God's not clapping. You know why? Because he cares about their soul. He doesn't want them to go to hell. That's why God's not clapping. He doesn't care. Oh, you can go ahead and put the, put the rainbows on the ground. And you can go ahead and do what you want to keep on doing in the Halifax, Nova Scotia. And you think that we can't preach against these things, but God loves the homosexual, but he wants them to be saved. He wants the homosexual community to be saved. He wants the adulterers to be saved. He wants, amen, the liars to be saved. He wants the fornicators to be saved. He wants every one of us to be saved. For all of us to come short of the door of God, all of us. But that's what the Bible says. You can shout, oh yes, and clap, everybody claps. Are you going to clap when you're in hell? Are you going to be happy when you're in hell, burning in the flames of eternal damnation forever? Are you going to be happy there? No, you won't. You'll look at me and you'll say, I remember that picture preaching on the corner of Spring Garden Road in September. I remember that preacher preaching on Spring Garden Road in September. I remember that preacher preaching in Spring Garden Road. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. God loves you. He's praying for you. Oh, yes. God loves you. Hallelujah. Hey, fuck up. I said, Salt, sir. Where's the police? That's assault property, sir. That's assault property. Oh, yeah. It's assault property. What are you going to do? Sold the property, my friend. Just sold the property, sir. Yeah, oh yeah, you do that to sell the property. Call the police. Please, come right now. Call the police right now. Yeah. This is assault. Where is the police? The police only protect homosexuals. They don't protect, they don't protect Christians. No, no, no. I love homosexuals. You know, you hate the guts. You don't want the preaching of the gospel. You don't hate, you hate. You, all you do is a bunch of fascists. You don't care about freedom of speech, do you? You don't care about freedom of speech. It's a bunch of hypocrisy. Only your freedom of speech you like. Everybody else's freedom of speech you hate, right? But it goes against you, isn't it? I love how I love how that freedom works, isn't it? Everybody else's freedom of speech is okay, but not the Christian. Do you see how it is, people? Do you see how it is? Well, if if, if somebody did that in the gay pride parade, they'd be arrested. But now someone can do that to a preacher of Christ, the gospel, and there's no police around to arrest nobody. Huh? How is that fair? How is that fair, Canada? How is that fair? You tell me. How is that fair? Where is the freedom of speech in this country? The charter rights and freedoms, the freedom of religion. Not here, is it? It's a bunch of hypocrisy. Only when it appeals to you. The freedom of speech is okay, right? But this is how it works in our Constitution. I love you, sir, no matter what. I love you, sir. I know you do. I love you, sir. Pray for you. I'm praying for you, sir. Pray for you to be saved. God bless you. God bless you. Pray for you. The Bible says there's a way that leads to heaven and there's a way that leads to hell. God does not want you to go to hell. He's not willing that any somebody should perish. We all come to repentance of sin. And so as I close, today you can be saved today. You can have your sins forgiven today. You can be ready to go to heaven and not go to hell today. Hallelujah. You're only opposing yourself when you oppose the preaching of the gospel. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, convicts you of your sin. And you know that lying is wrong. You know stealing is wrong by the Spirit of God. You know homosexuality is wrong by the Spirit of God. He made them male and female. He did not make them female and female and male and male. Your body's made if you're a woman to be with a man in the confines of holy matrimony. If you're a woman, you're, if, you're, if you're a man, your body's made to be with a woman in the confines of holy matrimony. It's called sin. I don't care what the government says. I don't care about retribution by nobody. I care when I fear the Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow could be too late. And we care about the LGBTQ community. 
and we want them to be saved. We don't want them to go to hell. And I was sitting here talking to this precious transgender man, the man who wanted to be a transgender woman, such a nice man. Him and I was talking, good conversation. Don't hate the man in any way, she or form. We had a wonderful conversation. He was agreeing with me. He nodded his head, gave him a gospel track, and he went on his way. Many people that in the United States are called the ex gay movement. Many are coming to Christ and giving a testimony how Jesus Christ saved them out of homosexuality, saved them out of transgenderism, saved them from their sin, and they found freedom in Christ Jesus. You can too, my friend. God loves you. The Bible says, for God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's what the Bible says. For God sent not his son to the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That's the good news. You can be saved today. You don't have to go to hell. You can receive God's mercy. You can receive God's grace. You can receive his forgiveness. And you can receive his salvation. But it's only through Jesus Christ. Your gambling won't help you. You can go ahead and gamble and you think that's going to help you? It's not going to help you. It's destroying your life. It destroys your family's life. Amen? The see them on the chains out to destroy more numbers of lives. And now all the alcohol there, the, the alcohol, the Nova Scotia uh, uh, Corporation, destroying lives with the alcohol. Huh? Destroying all these lives with the alcohol. The Bible says, wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging. Who is so that the by is not wise? God is saying today is the day of salvation. Judgment is coming. If you die right now, and you don't know Jesus Christ, the Bible says you'll die in your sin and go to hell. You've got to repent of your sin and receive Jesus Christ by faith to be your Lord and Savior. God will forgive you. God will save you. Jesus Christ will redeem you. And will give you everlasting life. Well, preacher, what about these churches that, that support all these things? What about these churches that support divorce and remarriage? When the Bible says divorce and remarriage is sin. Well, the Bible teaches that those preachers will not to answer to God. If you're married to a marriage is only between one man, one woman for one lifetime until death is all it's about. Marriage according to the Bible is not between two men or two women. Marriage according to the Bible is not between a man and a divorced woman from her biblically legitimate husband or a woman and a divorced man and her biblically legitimate husband. Marriage is not common law. For two, when a man and a woman can shock up, it's not marriage. It's called sin according to the Bible. Marriage is only between one man, one woman, for one last time until death dissolves the bond. It's not between two men or two women or a man and now another woman who's not married to, it's not marriage. And the good news is that you can come to Christ and be saved and be right with God on a day of judgment. That's what the Bible says. Be right with God on the day of judgment and not die in your sin today, but you can be saved by the grace of God. That's the good news. Salvation is through Jesus Christ. Salvation is through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You can be redeemed by him. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm asking you to praise God, man. Hallelujah. You know, ma'am, I, I, I love you, ma'am. Hallelujah. I love you too. I love you. But do you? Do you love me? No, it's, no, it's not, sir. It's a woman. Well, you see, boy, boy, a woman or a man? Which one? Boy, a woman or a Thank you. Thank you very much. Boy, thank you very much. But I love you both. I love you both very much. And I really do mean that. Because the gospel tells me the love. You're ideology tells you to hate me, does it not? Right? Hate Christians. Hate people that are against you, right? Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't hate you. That's from the devil. The devil gives you that. The devil makes you hate. The devil The hate. Yeah, that's what the devil says. The devil, the devil says to hate. That's right. The they hate the truth. No, the devil supports homosexuality. To damn your soul to hell. If you want no, you, no, you don't. No, you don't. You're just saying that. No, no, he doesn't love the game. He hates us. Yeah. He hates us. So does he support homosexuality? Of course he does. He, he supports it because he wants you to go to hell. He knows God will judge it. 
That's why he hates it. That's why he loves it. Because he hates you, he hates me, he wants to go to the hell. Huh? Does he love it or hate it? I'm so sorry. Does he love the gays? Does he love the gays? Or does he hate homosexuality? God hates homosexuality, but he loves the homosexual person. And he wants him to be saved. Are you talking about the devil? The devil loves the devil. Well, the minute says, lie me, what does the Bible say? You want to read the Bible, what does it say? Okay, what does it say? Does the Bible support homosexuality? Oh, let me speak. No, no, I'm saying, what does God say? Because the Bible says they're going to go to hell. Homosexuals will be over pain. Yeah. That's our decision, but it's also that they are not. They can do what they want, but I, can, I'm, I have to warn you to tell you what the Bible says now. If I love you. I'm not a man. Well, I'm not a man. You are a man. Do you want a woman or not? Do you want a woman or not? Do you want a woman? A woman or a man? Yeah, yeah. You born a man? I was, yes, I am. No, no, no. I mean, I'm your birth certificate. Yes, you born a man? No, 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 no. Not what I said because I can lie now. Where were you born as? Were you born as a woman or a man? A yes or no? Maybe you can't hear her, but he's saying it's a man. So you're, you're born a male? Born? He was born a male. Okay, so he wants to be a female man. No, I'm still yeah. a male. That is it. That is how he's male. Well, I'm confused because it looks like a woman, so you got to tell me what the reality is. Thank you for accepting what I am. Oh, you're, you're a woman? You're a man. I don't understand why you're a How can you be a man? Oh, hold on a sec. So, so were, you born with, were you born with a male genitalia or a woman with a woman? Why would you ask me to say that? Because, of, because, of, because, of, because of, are you telling me the truth? I don't know if you're you telling me the truth. every person on the street about some kind of thing. No, I'm asking you. Why are you asking because me? Because you're claiming to be a man. You said you're claiming to be a man. Of, no, I'm not. What about you? You want to blow me up? You want to blow me up? That's violence. Listen, you want to call the police? Let me call the violence. police. Yeah, because. Are you physically injured? No, you're you're ruining you're 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 just defaming a property, ma'am. Defaming property. I'm not a man, but thank you very much. Well, the property is fine. I work with you. No, what you did was wrong. I'll be praying for you. Yes, yes. That's okay, I can still preach like this. The Bible says homosexuality is sin. Abortion is sin. Yeah, keep waving your hands, so I'll be praying for you. And the Bible says you can be saved by the grace of God. You don't have to down your sin. You can accept Jesus Christ as your Savior Lord and be born again. And be born by the grace of God, amen? And be, be, be a child of God and not a child of hell. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. Today you can receive His grace and His mercy. Instead of just trying to ruin what I got here, so hard for that. Keep my thing over. Praise the Lord, Amen. So that's the good news today. Well, you see that everybody has a right to do to see here on the corner. The LGBTQ community has a right, and so does Christians. Everybody has a right to this country, not just a certain amount, number of people. Everybody has a right. And so I have the right to tell the truth that they can be saved by the grace of God, whoever they are, whoever you are. You don't have to die in your sin, but you can be saved by God's grace and receive His mercy and His salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow. Tomorrow could be too late. Tomorrow could be too late, my friends. As I close, Jesus says, wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be there that go in the rap. But straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to life, but few will be the find it. Don't be. I'm not wide gate, my friend. You need to get on that narrow gate, that straight gate, that narrow road that leads to life. You that be not find it, but the way you can come to Christ, have your sins forgiven, repent of all your sins, and be saved by the grace of God. That's the good news today. God loves you. God wants you to be saved. But the only way to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ. And repent of your sins. And receive him by faith before it's too late. 
and you will die in your sins and go to hell for all eternity. God bless you, Halifax. I'll be praying for you. Judgment is coming. You need to get on the straight gate that leads to heaven and get off the wide gate that leads to heaven.